Kelly with Hydra Yoga Therapy and I'm here to show you the basic things that you should do to help your hamstrings and quads and also connect through your center or deep core line of energy that run through your body. So this video is going out to people who feel like they're gonna fail their yoga class or massage appointment. When I was a kid, I would be nervous about getting a bad grade on my dental uh, card, like when my mom took me in to see the dentist, and then they tell you you need to floss better, and then it's really awkward because they show you how to floss, and they make you do it in front of them. Well, the same thing happens when I'm massaging someone or someone's in yoga class and they can't get their legs to a 90 degree angle. So if they're lying on the earth and their legs are extended, if I can't pull their legs up to a 90 degree angle, then I'm like, you need to do your homework uh, and stop expecting me to massage your legs out for you. Um, because all you need to do to try to get that 90 degree angle on your legs, right, with your ankles, knees, hips in one line, is go to the wall. So I'm going to first show you how to open up the front of your thighs, and then we're going to go to the wall where I'm going to show you uh, how basically to use the wall to stretch your legs. To do this yoga tutorial, you're going to need a bolster, two blocks, a yoga mat, and some clear space at the wall. If you have anything plugged in, you might want to take some time just to get that out of your way so you have a place to extend yourself comfortably. All right, gather your things when you're ready. Join me on the mat. Welcome. So, getting started is not so easy because we're going to begin in child's pose and that's gonna hit your ankles, knees, and hips right where people with tight hamstrings are feeling it most. So give yourself a little grace and do your best to be comfortable and sit still for as long as you possibly can in this posture without any sharp pain coming from your hips and ankles or knees. To do so, I recommend investing in a yoga bolster. And we're eventually going to try to lie with our knees wide, our hips back to our heels, our heart extended on the bolster. So if this proves too difficult for you, you can use the blocks to give you more space to try to take the pressure off your ankles and knees. So you would take the bolster like this, but notice here, the more you shuffle up on the bolster, the more space that you'll be able to recline. Your arms extended, your hips back, your knees floating. Stretch your hips back, reach your arms forward, and bring the awareness to your breath. Inhale through the nose and feel how the air runs down the back and into the hips. Exhale through the mouth and H.A. Hasa. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Bring the tongue to the roof of the mouth. And exhale through the nose. Try to press the air down through the abdomen into the base of the hips. Now 
Notice how you can press the air into the low back and tighten. Almost out of this. As you turn your chin to center, you can either go deeper into the posture, sinking your hips back, peeling your arms forward, or you can come out by shuffling up on the bolster so that you have more space between your knees and hips. Find the position that's right for you without any sharp pain. Turn your chin to the other side. This time, bring the awareness to your chest. Breathing wide through the sides of the ribs. Inhale. Exhale. Breathing into the armpit. Inhale. And exhale. Follow this slow pattern of breath. to any tension you feel. On the exhale breath, imagine it leaving your body. Notice where your mind wants to wander to in this stillness. And set aside the thoughts of the outside world. back to the movement of breath through your being. Last three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. And exhale. Walk your hands up, left and right. Press up, gently work your knees in. Set the bolster aside and allow your hips to open up any way you choose. You can spank the feet. Do some hip circles, inhaling the knee to the right, up and over to the left. Inhale up, exhale back down, and to the left, directly up. Inhale, over. Exhale. Back down. Take the hands to the blocks. The blocks underneath your shoulders, your knees directly underneath your hips. Send your right leg back. Round your right hip in, seal your core. Reach your toe back and your heart forward. Inhale. And exhale. Pull the right knee into your chest and step your right foot through. And we've made it into Anjiyasana. Shift your hips forward. Walk the blocks back so that they are directly underneath your shoulders. Pull your shoulders back and down to peel your heart up. Tuck your chin slightly so that your jawline is even. Keep pressing forward with your hips. You should feel a pressure on the front of the left thigh. 
You want your hips even to the earth. One no higher than the other. One no further forward than the other. Two more deep breaths here. Gorgeous inhale. On the exhale, step back. Come off the blocks. Bring your hands to the earth. Inhale, shift over your wrists. Roll your inner elbows forward. Bend your elbows so that they graze your ribs at 90 degree angles to the earth to bring your belly to the ground. Bring the tops of the feet flat, your tailbone down, and get ready to squeeze your glutes, your hips, strong. Because you probably have a tight core, because your hamstrings and low back are tight, we're going to take a sloppy cobra. That means using the strength of your arms to lift your heart up, set your shoulders back, and drag your gaze up. However far you come up, don't give up. Just hold however high you can and breathe. For three, two, squeeze through the inner thighs, Squeeze the hips to lift up, and then drape your body back down to the earth. Use your hands to press up. Inhale. Exhale back your hips to heels. Do your best to press as deep as you can into child's. Take a deep breath in. And a slow breath out. Setting aside the thoughts of the outside world. Talk to yourself kindly in your head. Breathing love into your lips. When you're ready to float back onto all fours, take the blocks underneath your shoulders and inhale your left leg straight. Curl your left hip in, point your toe and peel your heart forward. Inhale. Exhale, pull your left knee to your chest. Slide your left foot through and shift forward again. Because the front of your right thigh is tight, most beginners will want to stay here in a box-like position with the legs. Make sure that you are lunging forward to the front of the mat. Straddle the hips even. Walk the blocks back. Pull your shoulders down and back to lift your heart up. Finally, draw the chin in to bring the back of the neck long. Do your best to press the breath down into the base of the lungs, down into the base of the hips. Last few breaths here. Then bend your knees and fold your upper body down. However deep you need to fold your knees, try to get 
your stomach to your thighs. Practice two more times for me. Straighten the legs, high on the fingertips to curl, bananaing your back forward. Inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, stomach to the thighs. Drip the upper body down. Relax the head. Inhale. Straight legs, straight spine. Exhale. Knees bend. Relax the head to the earth. Shift the weight forward in the path of the toes. Relax the arms completely. Then bend the knees. Seal the core to come up to standing. Inhale your arms overhead. And exhale, pull the energy down to your heart. So that is how we open up the front of the thighs. Coming to the wall, I want you to fold your mat in half. Take the folded half to the wall. Roll onto your back, getting your hips as close to the wall as possible. Then extend your legs. Waddle your hips back and forth to find your hips in one line with the wall. Then extend your legs, trying to stack your ankle, knees, and hips in one line, and flex the toes directly back towards the shins. Your hands can lie, palms face down by your sides. They can lie your elbows and shoulders in one line. Your palms up towards the ceiling. 90 degrees maybe at the elbows. 90 degrees at the shoulders. Or you can place one hand above and one hand below your belly button. On the inhale, and it's on your rises. On the exhale, relax into the earth. Follow your breath. Where your mind wanders to. Come back to the movement of breath within the body. On the exhale, release any external thinking. this position for just as long as you can possibly stay fit. Another suggestion here is to open up the side of the hips by bringing the right ankle to the top of the left knee. You want to get just at that ankle bone on the outside of your foot the bone itself to the very top of the kneecap or perhaps two inches lower, two inches towards your hip. Inevitably, your right knee will be cocked to your face. You can take your right hand to try to press 
your right knee, even with the left, your right shin parallel. Make sure your right shoulder is down and back, not tucked up towards your ears, and fully relax your left hand wherever you choose. Send the breath down into the base of the head. Exhale, release your right leg back up. Hook your left ankle right at the ankle bone. Directly to the middle of the kneecap. Sliding maybe two inches towards your hip. Take your left hand to the left knee and press to bring both knees in one line, the left shin parallel. Continually work to extend your right leg and flex the toes back towards the shin to open through the foot and calf. Notice how the breath feels as it moves through the body. Breathe into any tension you feel. Last few breaths here. And release. Extend the left leg back up. Flex the ankle. Then slide your feet together. <coughs> and your knees open. Relax your palms face up. Or slide them a little wider, elbows and shoulders of one line. Tuck your chin gently but firmly to lengthen your neck on the floor behind you. Smooth breathing, breath to breath. Hold this posture for as long as you can stand. As long as you're not feeling a sharp pain through the inner thighs. Finally, 
work your knees to your chest, wrap your hands around your knees, use the strength of your arms to press. When you're ready, roll to one side. Extend one arm underneath your head, your bicep like a pillow. Close your eyes and scan your body for any remaining tension. Imagine gathering all of that tension up. And on your next exhale breath, press your right hands into the earth to make your way to a seated position. Do your best to roll your hips back. As you cross your legs, lift your heart. Take a deep breath in and guide your hands down to your heart center. Inhale and exhale. Thank you for joining me. I hope you found that useful and so you won't fail your next yoga class or massage appointment, physical therapy appointment, and don't forget to floss so that you don't fail your next dental appointment too. It's all connected. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. Good luck.